Um, tell me her name again. Anastasia, Anastasia Pollock. And she's, we she's spoke, in about three seconds. Ready? She spoke all over the nation. Three, two, one. You are live. Okay. So Representative Ivey, with the law um, of doing away with statute of limitations, I, I have a little confusion with it. In, in my own family, unfortunately, we have dealt with abuse. And when we approached the police after this 2015 law that you mentioned was passed, they indicated that it was only civil statute of limitations that you know it applied to, and that we couldn't um, criminally charge uh, the people who abused these people in my family. Right. First of all, I'm sorry to hear that. It just it's. Thank you. It's amazing how prevalent it is. It really is it tragic is how prevalent prevalent. it is. Uh, yeah, you have so you have a, a criminal statute of limitations and civil statute of limitations. Civil is where you go after the person for for damages that were caused to you. Criminal, obviously, this they can go to jail and be be punished right. that way. There was a law. I don't remember exactly when. I think it was in the 90s that the the criminal statute of limitations was eliminated for sexual abuse of children. Um, in Utah, we, we used to have only a one-year statute of limitations. Children had to bring a case with, in one year of turning 18. And then in the 90s, we changed that to four years. And then it was just in 2015 that we eliminated the civil statute of limitations. And so there can be some, some areas where there are discovery rules and other things you want to check with an attorney okay. on the criminal side. But, but Do you think it's ever possible to... Do away with the limitations on the criminal side? Well, so the limitation is gone, but, but going backwards, so yeah. reviving yeah, the I mean. limitation, th that really isn't possible. When, when you take, they, they consider someone has a liberty interest on the criminal side, because if you take them criminally now, then they lose their liberty. Mm. On the civil side, it's not the same standard. Oh, I see. So, okay. so it would be harder. Well, in, in fact, constitutionally, it would be impossible to revive a criminal statute of I limitations. See. But there may be other ways. Um, when did they discover? How did they know that it happened? And, and in some cases, the, the defendants don't even challenge. Uh, the, the Brown situation, my understanding there, with the five Browns, the father didn't challenge the statute of limitations. But if, if I may, then share the story that yes. we talked about. Um, back in, I believe it was in the 80s, there was a young girl, her name was Terry Mitchell. And, and she was out in, in the park in Salt Lake with her, her two friends, and they were African-American. And there happened to be a white supremacist type in the park, and he shot and killed her two friends right in front of her, shot her and left her for dead. Uh, they, they found the perpetrator and, and put him on trial, and she's the star witness. Uh, this young woman's name is Terry Mitchell. She's the star witness in this trial. And, and the federal prosecutor preparing her for her trial in his hotel room, mm -hmm. repeatedly sexually abuses her and tells her, if you tell, if you tell this person that shot your friends and killed them, that shot you and left you for dead, if you tell what we're doing, he won't go to prison. I mean, that's the type, the type of intimidation, the type of shame, mm -hmm. the type of abuse that the psychological abuse and conditioning and it, it, it is is and trauma, which we'll talk more about next week. Too, and and it continues for it, it continues for decades. Yeah. So so he abuses her. This federal prosecutor goes on to be the chief judge of the D.C. District Court, federal court. And because of the law that we passed in 2016, the House Bill 279 that that restored her rights to bring claims that had that had passed that had lapsed. She then prepared to bring a case. Her attorney is Rocky Anderson, the former mayor of Salt Lake. And on the very day that she filed her claim under the law that we passed, this judge had gotten wind of what was coming, and he, he prepared his retirement so he could secure his retirement and then resigned from the bench the very day that her claim came out. So he's now challenging her case right here in Salt Lake, in federal district court in Salt Lake, challenging the law that the legislature passed with the voice of so many people that had pulled together in the legislature that passed that saying the legislature had no authority to restore her claims. So that's being challenged in federal court right now, Angela, and there is mm -hmm. nothing more important that we could get people to do to stand up and write to the newspapers, write letters to the editors, write to the judge. 
Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Write to Rocky Anderson and yes. ask how, how they can help him. But that's something that we can do, every one of us, to stand up and make our voice heard to, to protect these rights for people in your family. I would, I would imagine if we were to ask how many people have been affected in this, in this room, it would be virtually everyone. everyone and, and again, Liliana, just to mm -hmm. thank you for coming mm -hmm. forward. Your, mm -hmm. your voice makes a difference, and one voice, whether it's to a letter to the editor telling someone else, writing to the judge in this case, one voice makes a difference. We can change our communities, we can change the world, and, mm -hmm. and being able to work forward on additional legislation, um, happy to work with you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud mm -hmm. of you standing up, and, and it is such a brave thing. It, it takes, it's so hard for so many, and you're giving a voice to many that, that simply don't feel courageous enough because of what they've suffered to come forward. So you, as a 10-year-old girl, mm -hmm have the ability to help so many people and really change our state and change the world. And so I'm grateful to you. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And we'll end with a fight song. <laughs> Like a small boat on the ocean Sending big waves in emotion Like how a single word can make a heart open I might only have one match But I can make an explosion and all those things I didn't say Wrecking balls inside my brains I will scream them loud tonight Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song Take back my life song Prove them my right song My powers turn on I start right now, I'll be strong I'll play And I'm chasing sleep Everybody's worried about me I'm in too deep They say I'm in too deep And it's been two years And I miss my home There's a fire burning in my bones But I still believe Yeah, I still believe And all those things I didn't say Wrecking balls inside my brains I will scream them loud tonight Can you hear my voice? This is my fight song Take back my life song Prove them my right song My powers turn on I start to right now, I'll be strong I'll play my fight song And I don't really care if nobody else believes Cause I still got a lot of fight left in me Sending big waves in emotion Like how a single word can make a heart open And I only have one match And I can make an explosion This is my fight song Take back my life song Prove I'm all right
All right. Three, two, one. Turn the cameras off. <laughs> Boot in the middle of that, yeah. um, but we have all the audio recorded, and we could repost. We had a small software problem with OBS, and so it was cutting down the audio. OBS is the software we use to uh, process the video for Facebook. Oh. 